Hello everyone and welcome to yet another video. Today guys, this will be video number 7. And today what we're going to be looking at is this little beauty. Which is the Lost Art Goon clone from 3fvape.com. Very, very little pretty little goon to be honest. Lovely little thing. So that's what we're going to be looking at, guys. Um, general first impressions, aesthetically, looks stunning. Much prefer it in stainless steel. Um, they do do all the variations of various other colours. I think they do a brass. Um, they do like blue, red, gold, etc. Personally, I much prefer it in the stainless steel. It just looks a lot more neater and smarter, in my personal opinion. Obviously, the drip tip I've got on top of here is a custom drip tip. Um, which I picked up from the good guys over at Grey Haze. Um, the Lost Art Goon itself does come with a standard um, stainless steel drip tip, wide bore drip tip, um, which has the Lost Art um, name uh, etched into the side of it, um, which I believe I've got that on a different device, but I'm not 100% sure which device I've got it on. Um, but yeah, so... Lost Argoon guys, absolutely fab. Obviously, as always, I'll be diving down into a close up, do a little bit of an unboxing, um, going through all the spares that came with it, a little bit more in depth about the device, um, and then we'll bounce back up. Um, in fact, actually, after the close ups, um, I'll do a little bit of a quick build on it. So, I'll do a quick build, I'll speed the video up for you, um, just so we can fit it in and give you a rough idea of how to build on it. And then once that's done, we'll bounce back up. Um, I'll put it on a device. Um, we'll take it for a vape, and I'll give you my final thoughts on the device itself. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to dive downstairs, go into a close-up, and I'll give you a little bit more in-depth information about the device. So I'll see you in the close-ups, guys. Thank you very much. Hello guys and welcome, this is the close up section <clears throat> of the Lost Art Goon uh, clone from the lovely guys at 3fvape.com Obviously this is how it comes, a nice little fabric sort of suede presentation bag We've obviously got 528 custom vapes and the Goon logo on the front, very nicely packaged Obviously inside the packaging, obviously you're greeted with the RDA itself, but we'll get into that in a moment. Let's move that out of the way. Obviously, spares package you get a spare um, drip tip, it's obviously Lost Art inscribed on the side. I don't know if you can quite see that. Um, you get a set of coils, um, looks to be just standard Canthor coils or stainless steel coils, screwdriver, O rings, um, spare crosshead screws all your lovely nice little bits and pieces so we'll drop that away and obviously this is the RDA itself let's zoom in a little bit more zoom, 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 zoom. there we go obviously you've got lost art obviously nicely etched and inscribed on the side you've got the 528 logo all nicely etched on that side you've got six round airflow holes so you've got three on this side three on that side fully adjustable so you can have them either fully open fully closed um, one open or one on each side open I should say or all six open depending on how your style of vaping is obviously on the bottom um, you've got a gold plated 510 you've got Lost Art Edition Goon on the bottom, serial number, all nicey nicey. Now the deck itself, please excuse the build I've got in there already. Obviously the deck itself is all gold plated. You've got these two huge um, clamp style um, posts which are absolutely fantastic for putting your slightly more bigger and larger builds in there. Um, very easy to position the coils with clamps as well I, I tend to find um, you haven't got to reposition them all too much for 
nice big crosshead screws. Absolutely fantastic. Peak insulated as well. All absolutely brilliant. Fantastic. Obviously, drip tip is removable. This is a custom one I've had done, um, especially for it. Um, obviously, in the top of there, look. As you can see, five to eight custom vapes. All nicely machined. All nicely etched in. Let's see if I can just get this off. There we go. Obviously, that centre piece comes out to obviously adjust your airflow. And then you've got the stainless steel housing, obviously that sits on top of there. Again, all very nicely machined. No nasty machine oils, no marks, no damages. Build quality again is absolutely spot on. Cannot fault the build quality at all. So that's it guys. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump into a bit of a quick build. Um, I'll strip this all down for you. I'll put some new coils in, um, wick it all up, and then we'll bounce back up top and we'll give it a vape. And I'll let you know my final thoughts on the device. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you back up the top. Welcome back up top guys So that was the close up section And the quick build of the Lost Art Goon RDA clone Very very simple to build on guys um, for, for me anyway um, Loving the clamp system that's on the Goon Absolutely brilliant idea um, Makes building so much easier It can get a little bit fiddly um, Because obviously they are a vertical clamp rather than a horizontal But if you're used to building and you know what you're doing, then it's relatively easy. It's dead easy. Um, absolutely loads and loads of airflow. Ample amounts of airflow on the goons. Any goon, to be fair. Um, they are more, I think personally, they are more of a cloud RDA rather than a flavour RDA. But obviously, with that adjustable airflow, you can close that airflow right down to obviously get a lot more of an enhanced flavour from the RDA itself which is fantastic um, so obviously as from the build obviously I've got it sat on my uh, timekeeper revolver clone so as from the build itself let me just focus this in for you a second ba -ba 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 -bom. there we go obviously dual coil stainless steel 316 l uh, I believe it's uh, 8 wraps coming in at 0.15 um, absolutely well within safety reaches for a mechanical mod obviously as I've said before in previous videos and I will say it again um, obviously the, the Goon RDAs are uh, fantastic for mechanical mods they do work fantastically but if you are going to put it on a mechanical mod as I've said before, and I will continue to say it, please, please make sure you are well aware of all the safety parameters that you need to take. Make sure that you understand your aims law. Make sure that you understand your battery safety. You know what your batteries are capable of doing. You know the voltage levels. You know the amp levels and all that kind of jazz. Um, and also as well make sure that you're confident in your building skills make sure you know and understand what type of builds that you need to be building to make that RDA safe to be putting on a mechanical mod of any kind whether it be a single cell whether it be a parallel box whether it be a series box any form of mechanical mod make sure you know every parameter that there is to know make sure that you know it 
everything you need to know. Um, if there isn't anything you know, YouTube is a massive, massive help, um, full of information and guides of how to build from mechanical mods um, and understanding Ohm's laws and battery safeties. Um, if there is anything you want to know, drop me a comment under the video and I will reply back to you if there's any information you want to know in regards to safeties and builds and all that kind of thing. Um, as I said before in previous videos, and I'll, I'll say it again, um, obviously that was a quick time build. If you would like me to do a real time build, drop a message in the comments and I will quite gladly and happily do that for you and post it up onto my channel as well. Just take this for a quick vape now. Obviously, as you can see, absolutely loads and loads of vapor production off this RDA. Flavor is very, very nice. Um, it is where it's supposed to be. Um, obviously, for me, instead of having all three of the air holes open, um, I've closed one off, so I've only got two. So it just gives that little bit of a more restricted draw just to help increase those flavors come through. But it's absolutely fantastic. As always, I'll be dropping descriptions in the comments below and in the descriptions below. Um, dropping links to all the various different devices, um, including the Timekeeper as well, which I will be doing a review for soon. All the information will be underneath um, from where to purchase these from or from where I purchased them from personally. Obviously, as I've said before, thank you so much for everyone that's jumping on board, for everyone that's supporting me so far. Massive, massive thumbs up to you guys. It is massively appreciated. I cannot thank every single one of you enough um, for the support you've given me so far. Massive, massive thumbs up and recommendation for this RDA. The Lost Art Goon clone for me is absolutely fantastic. I have used authentic goons, um, the custom goons, and to be fair, it in my in my opinion, it performs just as well. The functionality and performance of it is absolutely spot on. Um, you probably wouldn't be able to tell much of a difference between an authentic and, and the clone version, to be honest with you. Um, and again, obviously, guys, head on over as well, as well as my YouTube channel. Obviously, I do have my own Facebook group um, that I run alongside a good friend of mine, um, the Welsh Vapester, as you may know him. Um, so head on over to our Facebook group, guys, Vapester's Paradise. I will be putting a link um, to our Facebook group in the description as well. Head on over to there, guys. We've got absolutely mass amounts of stuff going on. New vendors are being added all the time. Um, we've got sponsorships coming up that are absolutely mind-boggling. Um, we've got competitions. We've got giveaways. We've got live reviews. We've got live Q&As. All that kind of wonderful stuff that we all know that you all love. So head on over to there, guys. Add yourself in. Winner. So until the next time, guys. Oh, bloody hell. Background noise. <laughs> so until the next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Vape safe. Keep it cloudy. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you very much.